What's up, guys? Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I have a super special video. I mean, it was special to me, the message, and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's from Joel Osteen, and whether you like the guy or not, whether you're religious or not, it has nothing to do with religion. I'm pushing this message out for uh, just to share with you guys, and I would really like to hear your thoughts. And when I heard him talking and when I saw him, like, tearing up and stuff and when I heard the story... It literally gave me chills and like I almost wanted to cry because it kind of like it made me thought, think of my dad. Uh, my dad passed away in 2010. And, um, you know, the way I dealt with that is I put a mask on and I never dealt with it directly. And I dealt with it in other ways that was not good, unhealthy. And this message he was talking about today, it just it literally gave me chills. And it totally like, I don't know, it hit home. And also it made me think about my friend that passed away with uh he has sickle cell. He had sickle cell and you know I was there for his last moments. I was there while he was in the hospital and this the, the quick story with Kenny, I, I don't want to go too long because I just want to show you guys the message. But with Kenny, me and him with good we're good friends and uh Right before he got sick, we got into an argument. We kind of weren't talking for a while. Then he got sick. He had to go to the hospital, and it was pretty bad. And, um, you know, I love the guy. The guy was a good guy. He was a great guy, man. Super nice guy. Super humble. You know, and I went and visited him anyway, regardless of if we were fighting, regardless if we were mad at each other. I, I bought him a, a World of Warcraft, like, guidebook because we were big World of Warcraft fans. I brought it to him. And this is the type of guy that usually never apologizes to people because he always thinks he's right. And, you know, right before he died... Um, he apologized to me and like, you know, and I apologized to him and I'm just so thankful that we were able to have that moment, you know, to apologize to each other. Um, and it just really touched me and it just, this story made me think about that too. And I think this message is really important for parents, um, because, you know, we get so stressed out dealing with stuff, dealing with bills, dealing with doubt, all kinds of things. And this message also shows that. I think that achievements are not that important. It's it's great to have achievements, but one of the lessons that you can teach your kids is how you deal with problems and how you deal with people and humbling yourself and being honest with yourself, you know? Um, so, guys, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts about this message. And this video will probably be demonetized because me showing the video will probably get this flag, but, you know, I don't care. It's not about... Uh, the monetization or anything. I just wanted to share with you th this message because I thought it was beautiful. Thank you guys for all the support. Take care. All the time. Let them see your humanity. One time in my early 20s, I was in the TV control area after a church service at the other location. My father had just finished ministry. Myself and some of the crew members were laughing and having fun as we were putting up the equipment and turning everything off. My father came in. For some reason, he thought we were making fun of something that had happened in the burn. We were laughing at something totally different. I tried to tell him it didn't have anything to do with that, but my father wouldn't hear it. He let us have it, told us how we should be more respectful and how we shouldn't make fun on and on. A couple hours later, my father called. He said, Joel, I blew it tonight. I knew when you told me it wasn't what I thought, but I was uptight about some other things. And I want to ask you to forgive me. I'm sorry. Then he asked me for the phone numbers of everyone else in the room. There were seven or eight people. He couldn't sleep until he made things right. I said, Daddy, you can take care of it tomorrow. Nobody's going to mind. He said, no, I need to do it right now. 11 o'clock at night, this well-respected minister called all these young men to apologize to them. Now, as a son, that spoke louder to me than my father's accomplishments. To see him swallow his pride and admit that he was wrong made a huge impression on me. He could have tried to protect his image and convince himself he was right, but he was vulnerable. He was honest, not just with me, but with himself. When you can be honest with yourself, when you're big enough, secure enough to take off the mask, not live for your image, but you do the right thing when it's hard, apologize when it's not your fault, show your children you're big enough to admit that you were wrong. When you live transparent before God, not the fake you, the pretend you, the wanna be you, but the real you, when you're vulnerable 
you're pliable. God will make you and mold you into the vessel of honor that he created you to be. That's what these heroes of faith did. Abraham, John the Baptist, Paul, they were real. They had doubts, they had questions, they made mistakes, but they didn't pretend to be superhuman like they had it all together. They knew the power of vulnerability. They knew in their weaknesses, God's power shows up the great. Are you down on yourself because you have doubts, fears, things you don't understand? Are you trying to perform perfectly to protect your image, to impress your friends, to show your children how strong you are? Why don't you take the pressure off? There is a freedom when you can be at peace with not being perfect. When you can say like Paul, I'm doing my best, I'm improving, but I'm not there yet. Joel, with my temper, I'm better than I was five years ago, but I'm not there yet. That's okay. You're making progress. God said about John the Baptist, there was no one any greater than him. This was about a man that doubted he was the Messiah. A man that had questions. Why are you beating yourself up over your weaknesses? Why are you trying to hide your struggles, thinking that it's disqualifying you? The accuser whispers, you still have that addiction? You should be ashamed of yourself. You lost your temper again? Go sit on the sidelines. Don't believe those lies. You may not have attained it all. You're not there yet. The good news is you're on the way. I hope you guys like that video. Uh, you know, I wanted that for anybody, any parents, any people going through some tough times or just doubt. And, um, you know, I used to like... I mean, I still do kind of worry about my image, but like nobody's perfect, man. And to be successful, to achieve what you want, you have to be willing to fall. Uh, and when you fall, you get back up. And uh, I don't know, man, this 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 thing really kind of got me like I'm super serious because it just made me think about my dad and, you know, everything that happened and um, my friend and people that have passed. And, you know, like we get so caught up in everyday life and everyday things and working and everything. But I feel like when you start to lose people in your life, you know, people pass away. It makes you more um, sensitive and more like aware, uh, you know, of things, impact, all that kind of stuff. And um, just like the whole Hurricane Irma thing happened, you know, like you're so caught up and worried about everything else in life. And then all of a sudden this huge thing comes along the way and like throws everything else out the way. And it's, it's all about taking care of your family and being together and unifying, you know. So I don't know if you're out there. And you have doubts or whatever. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Just take what the message says. And, and, I, and I think also what was pretty cool and important towards the end, Joel Osteen mentioned that you're always going to have those people that are like pointing out your mistakes or your flaws or people that are going through addictions and like, you know, or addiction. And it was something else that he said, you know, when you're down, you're like, you're always going to have those people that point you out. There's a lot of those people out there that are putting on a mask. I've done it plenty of times. Um, but what I don't do is I don't turn around and, and put others down. You know, there's a lot of people that do that just to make themselves feel better. And uh, I don't know, this is for all the parents out there that are struggling or, or doubting or whatever, hang in there. Uh, I thought it was a beautiful message and I hope you guys have a great day. This was not a planned video, but I just thought it was really worth sharing. Thanks, have a great day. Smile, you smile. Yes. Yes, my love. <laughs> love you. You big girl. Mm -hmm.